We evaluated the residential real estate market in the Fargo-Moorhead area based on the five forces analysis. This analysis allowed us to evaluate the viability of the market. Next, I'm going to share with you a couple different conclusions that we were able to drop based on our analysis. First of all, competition is high within the Fargo-Moorhead area. There are a few firms that dominate the market, including Hatch Realty and Parco Realtors. We believe if smaller firms spend some more money on marketing for themselves and for the homes that they're trying to sell, they might be able to better compete against these larger firms. The industry itself is busy right now, but with a low supply of homes on the market, price growth continues to rise. The industry is growing in the Fargo-Moorhead area due to multiple different trends. First of all, there's more millennials moving to metropolitan areas than in the past, and also rising prices, new construction, and a strengthening domestic economy are driving this growth. We believe that the threat of new entrants is moderate within the area, as the barrier to entries are low. Additionally, there are a large supply of homes on the market, and the specific firms I discussed earlier are hoping to be the ones to sell them. We anticipate that some small players will try to enter the game, but may not gain enough competitive advantage to survive. Some of the industry forces may be affected by changes in the general environment and people living in metropolitan areas. The new technology is really making the process of buying and selling homes that much easier, and depending on which general environment trend has more of an impact on the industry, the attractiveness of the industry will either get better or worse. We believe that there is a moderate threat of new entrants, as I mentioned, and a low threat of substitutes due to the high competition within the market. Overall, we do not believe it would be worth pursuing this market. As I mentioned, there are large firms within the market already that hold a significant portion of the market share and business within, and we do not think that we would be able to enter the market and gain enough competitive advantage and market share to survive long term.